This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. As we enter the golden age of virtual reality, Hollywood powerhouse Steven Spielberg took it up to himself to break the ice between this complex technology and the moviegoer. Come to the Oasis for all the things they can do, but they stay because of all the things they can be. His dystopian feature, Ready Player One, provides a look into the possibilities of an imaginary world shared by different members of society. I found my friends. This is war. We're in control of the future. Despite not yet being at an advanced stage, the VR experience is slowly finding its way into theaters. With an acclaimed viewing setup, the Venice Film Festival provides cinephiles the chance to explore fictitious worlds as if they're in them. One interactive motion picture that's stolen the limelight this year is Buddy VR. It looks at the life of a lonely mouse living in a theme park. But once the festival goers put on the goggles, they're transported into the animation, where they're expected to help the friendly rodent in finding food. It was necessary for women to have a vote. Another entry in competition, Make Noise, demands further participation from audiences. Now it's your turn. The abstract landscape of this feature changes as those watching the film either sing to or shout at it. And make a monument with your voice. The director says he is encouraging people to acknowledge the power of their voice. Because the women were wakening up. Darren Aronofsky is a filmmaker who constantly tests the boundaries of visual storytelling. Spheres, produced by the Brooklyn native, provides a first-hand journey across the universe. Among other cosmic adventures, participants get the simulated experience of diving into a black hole. You know our house is our home. In contrast to the other VR screenings in Venice, Home After War aims for realism. We took the car and fled. It lets participants become guests of a family who return home after being forced to leave. The inclusion of this project proves virtual reality can also be used to raise awareness. We heard that there were houses where the electricity was booby-trapped. If you see a bomb, you would usually recognize it. But this stuff is new. <laughs> 